Hi everyone. My name is Deer. I'm I'm appearing as a guest here on Indiecade. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, if you're not familiar with Indiecade, please get familiar. Indiecade.com. It's this amazing festival focusing on indie developed gaming. And I have been invited to showcase a new game. This is a demo called Lucifer Within Us. It's somehow spooky. I don't know anything about it, but we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. OMG, you are so awesome. Ugh, me? This? <laughs> You're awesome. Um, we're going to play this game called Lucifer Within Us, and it's by Kit Fox Games. So let's get to it. I feel so honored that I was invited here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna begin the demo. Um, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Deer. I play What You Fear. I am a variety caster here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash deer. Um, I'm serving you spooks and lukes. I like to do drag and play, play scary games. So without further ado, we're gonna play this. Um, and I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so, just to let you know, a hundred years without murder. A hundred years without demonic possession. Then this. This what? This what? I am Sister Ada, exorcist and investigator. Oh, we've got a, a journalistic... Uh, reporter nun exorcist in the house. This is a testament to the massacre at St. Walpurga's Abbey. It is truth. Do not believe the lies of my accusers. Okay, so so she's recounting her um, her experiences here, I guess. Is the game too loud? Is the game too loud? Let me know. Tell me. I want to be a nun exorcist. Well, I am one. And there can only be one. <clears throat> Audio seems okay. Well, good. Dinosaur Willa, hello. Doladar, hello. Ovamilk, hello. Taboo. Tegan. Cindy. S. Indy Cade. Hi. So there's Indy Cade and then there's Cindy Cade. That's almost that's a pun, isn't it? E plus audio is great. Thank goodness. What lip is this? This is Hot Rod by House Laboratories. It's Gaga's Pink. Hope you like it. Hi, Queen Pib. Okay, so we're a nun. Um, it's truth. Don't believe lies. Okay, cool. Saint Walpurgis Abbey Cybernetics Workshop. And so it begins. Virgil, Sister Ada, welcome. I'm not gonna do acting. I'm not gonna do voices for each person because I'm gonna forget. Um, I am, v no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am Virgil, Chief Inquisitor at St. Walpurga's Abbey. But is, is Hot Rod? Could be. We may be in need of your talents as an exorcist. What are these? Are there mannequins? There's a mannequin. The organ looks uh, bloody. Is that blood? You can survey the evidence yourself, but I think you will agree. Has there truly been a murder? There hasn't been a murder for a hundred years, and then they're like, well, it's over. It's very early for drag, forgive me. It seems so. A respected priestess, Mother Miriam. So we've got Ada, we've got Miriam, we've got Virgil. <clears throat> Passed this morning under suspicious circumstances. A daemon may be present. Here, even now, possessing someone. It's very early to be alive, that is true. It's never too early for drag. Are you sure? Are you sure? I woke up very early to put this on. Cyber my, by Mac, that's a good name. I mean, that's a good color. I was gonna say that's a good name. It's a good name, but it's also a good color. <laughs> we love caffeine, Jenny. Ooh. I, um, don't worry about it. 
What happened exactly? Mother Miriam was only recently appointed as successor to Abbot Gregory. This morning, she came to the workshop to receive her coronet of office. Something went wrong with the installation? Yes, to put it mildly, the coronet oversurged, killing Mother Miriam. Brace yourself for the sight. Then the workshop operators, Gideon and Reuben, are the prime suspects. They are brothers, right? Yes, but it's highly out of character for Gideon or Reuben to kill someone. Well, isn't it out of character for anybody? It's been a hundred years. No murders. No, no death, I guess. I don't know. I'm still learning. Yeah, the art is beautiful. Like, look at the... It, it's like almost... It has like a watercolor kind of texture, but it also everything has a very like angular shape to it. Um, watercolor always strikes me as like organic kind of, because it's lots of fades and splotches of color and stuff. And then um, the angular kind of shapes are very synthetic looking, but the, the combination of them is something really cool. <clears throat> Hi, Cade. Big, Bigudia, Bigudia Lias. Hello. Hi, welcome. How's it going? Welcome to Indicade. Even so, they were the only ones present when Mother Miriam died. Shook. Demons nurture our sinful desires into unthinkable actions, Virgil. It's a lot of um it's a lot of religion happening here. Um <clears throat> one of the brothers has surely been seduced, seduced by a demon. Whichever it is, I will unmask his lies and cast out the demon within him. <gasps> oh wait, it's it's Lucifer within us. It's not demon within us. I was gonna be like, that's the that's not the title. It's almost the title. Very close to the title. May Einsops be done. Amen. Whatever that means. To exercise a demon, we must uncover four things. First, the suspect. We must identify which sinner is possessed by the demon. I'm the sinner. <laughs> Second, the opportunity. When exactly was the murder committed? Right now. <clears throat> We can pinpoint the opportunity by analyzing each suspect's testimony. I got a new chair, y'all. I know that has nothing to do with the channel or the game or anything, but I just wanted to tell you. Oh, I'm comfy. Feeling very comfy on this day. Um, we can pinpoint the opportunity by analyzing each suspect's testimonies. Is this like... I've played Phoenix Wright before. Maybe that'll help me here. Because when I was researching this game, I was like, I don't know if I've ever played a game like this before, ever. Good for the posture. Yes. 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 Ooh. Look at the backrest. I'm like, mmm, this is such a good game. I need to just take a rest from the beauty. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. We're doing it. Third, the means by which the murder has been committed. This means, the means can be found among the physical evidence at the scene of the incident. Fourth, the motive of the murder, which can be found in their inner world, their sanctum. The motive will tell us which demon possesses the sinner. Very well, let us begin our holy work. Oh, okay, all right. All right, it's doing stuff. Um. Um, okay. Hmm. Um. Talk to the Inquisitor. Gideon claims that the incident was an accident, but Reuben claims that it's Gideon's fault. Oh! <gasps> Are either of them telling the truth? Perhaps there's another possibility. Is this... Okay. Miriam. 
newly appointed voice of Ayn Sof, who was scheduled to receive an aether coronet implant at the workshop. Ooh, I'm walking. I'm walking around. There's those mannequins. Oh, I can look at stuff. Who are you? Gideon, younger brother. Hi. Oh, he's fierce. He's serving it. I found the evidence of Gideon. This is madness. I will not suffer this injustice. I'm Gideon the Grand, the greatest cybernetician of our generation. I am blessed. Einsoff guides these hands, you see. So Einsoff is the god person. That shirt looks gorge. His? Am I blocking? Am I blocking him completely? I'm blocking him. Okay, I'm gonna move myself slightly so you can see. I'll just be off the... I'll be off to the side for a second. You could still see, though. You could see. He's serving it, though. Um, I am blessed. Einsoff guides these hands, okay? You can replace every portrait? Okay. Here, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Oh my god, shut up. Oh, well, that didn't work. That didn't work correctly. That is not what I had planned. I mean, I could. I could be on the ceiling. This is, this is, you know, it's, um, it's about Lucifer. There we go. Okay. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> um, who did it? Who's the murderer? <gasps> is it, it, it me, me or... Me or her? Me or... Wait. Me or her? Me or her? Me or her? <laughs> oh my god. So dumb. Okay. Um, I'll move myself back over here. We're playing a game, okay? We are playing a game and I'm a professional gamer. Girl. <clears throat> Anyway, we're still blessed. Einsoft guides these hands, you see. How's it going, Kitbox Games? It's wonderful to see you in here. I'm playing your game. In case you didn't notice. Um, your gaudy trinkets are hardly worth boasting about. <gasps> she is reading him to filth. She is like... She's like, I don't like you. And I don't care to tell you. Like, I don't mind. I will tell it to your face. <clears throat> wow. Hi, Roscoe. Nice to see you all in here today. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good. Um, okay. We're five minutes in and it's taken me 20 minutes. Um, okay. Mother Miriam died by your hands. Is that not so? Wow, she is really going in, isn't she? No. Why would I want to harm her? You wanted her... inheritance. She was my patron. She loved me like a son. I did nothing wrong. The con consecration chamber must have been compromised. Sister Ada is here to seek the truth, Gideon. You have nothing to fear if you are innocent. Please hear Gideon's testimony, Sister Ada, and judge for yourself if he speaks true. It's too early for this. I'm losing my mind. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, you love this hair. Thank you. Testimony of a suspect is divided into events. You can access detailed descriptions of events by hovering over them. If you manipulate the time line marker to navigate to any moment in the testimony. Oh, you can. You can manipulate. All right. Let's listen to what Gideon has to say. 
I like the name Gideon. Okay, we're gonna listen. I press play. Mother Miriam came to me for her conse consecration ceremony. I performed this many times before, so I was confident. To prepare for the ceremony, I ordered Reuben to take Mother Miriam to the consecration chamber. Wait a second. Let's re-examine what he said about Miriam's arrival. Okay. All right. Drag the marker to change time. Interesting. Gideon does not mention Reuben being present while greeting Mother Miriam. Now let's hear the rest of what he has to say. Okay, we're listening. We're watching. Mother Miriam came to me to the consecration chamber to prepare the ceremony. I ordered Reuben to take Mother Miriam to the consecration chamber. Um, meanwhile, I adjusted the coronets amplication at the work table then placed it upon mother miriam's head i need i need like you know how when you're reading a book that is clearly above your level and it has like footnotes it's like this means this this is in reference to this i need a definition for every other word he says what's a coronet that's like something new in this game right i'm i i wouldn't know what that is right capitalized. Meanwhile, I adjusted the core in its ampli amplification at my work table. It's a crown. We began by closing our eyes and praying together to Einsov. I thought I heard the chamber open, but didn't think much of it. Probably should have thought something of it. Probably should have thought a lot about it. I feel like it's a proper noun we don't know yet. Mm. Oh, it must be like the digital whatever it is that they're talking about. Then I activate the consecration chamber and began the ceremony itself. The aether output was within safe ranges. Uh-oh. This music is too loud for her. <laughs> wow. Then it happened. Mother Miriam was killed, but it's impossible. I had everything under control. Well, she's dead. Shocking. Um, so that explains the blood. Um, try not to block him too much, but I'm the star. Gideon, you're not the star. Sorry, you're you're the you're you're in a supporting role. Um, all right. I think I've heard enough. Let's leave him for now. Leave. Okay, we left. We're gone. We're over it. How about you? Where were you during this incident? Let's talk to Reuben. He's sort of cute. Wow. An exorcist? Surely there are no demons here. Though, this was an accident, wasn't it? If Gideon is possessed, that would mean he did it on purpose. Horrible. You're the possessed one. Maybe. I'm the possessed one. You're the elder brother, I see. Your name? Yes, my name is Ruben Garamond. I am responsible for this engineering and design of our implants. Add Lucifer within us to your wish list today. There's the link. Click it. It's quite a cool game. It's got a beautiful art style and it's, it's intriguing me so far. The most intriguing part is I don't know what any of these words mean. What is a Garamond? 
find out. Let's find out. I am responsible for engineering and design of our implants. It's already on my wish list. Nice. Make sure that you're following Indiecade and Kit Fox Games on all socials. How did Mother Miriam die exactly? Her head exploded. You saw the flashback? It was a completely preventable accident. Mother Miriam died because Gideon deliberately flouted the ceremonial guidelines for his own glory. Gideon may be my flesh and blood, but he must take responsibility for his negligence. You? You have something against him. After that head explosion, I'd be remiss not to add it to my wish list. It was pretty epic. An epic scale of death. Look, we can still see her body just sitting over there. Just headless. How's your head? Um, let us hear what Reuben has to say. You're way over there. Why are you yelling at me over here? Leave me alone. Keep in mind that Reuben's testimony may differ greatly from Gideon's version of events. If an event is corroborated by another suspect's testimony, it will be marked as verified on the timeline. We're very trusting. Apparently, there can't be two killers working in cahoots. Look at all of, like, you have so much to say. Oh, oh, no. It, there's one, one guy and then there's the other. Okay. All right. Do we have to interview the dead body? That would be interesting. So where were you at the time of the incident and just, like, holding a microphone and, like, just missing a head? Can you believe? Hi, Molly does a thing. Love you so much. Roscoe. Molly. Everyone in the chat, look look at, like, I've got a new chair. I just had, I just had to talk about it for a second, sorry. Oh my gosh, I can zoom in. I look at them. Look at all these different angles. The one angle, just zoomed in or zoomed out. Um, okay, let's listen. We're listening. We're listening. Everyone shush. Mother Miriam came to us to receive a consecration ceremony, but she wanted something extravagant. A woman of religion isn't supposed to be extravagant. I would know because I'm not religious. That's why I look like this. Um, wait, I'm pausing it. Gideon suggested setting the coronet to have maximum aether output. I warned him that doing so is highly dangerous. Oh, he warned him. You can't even see it behind your giant, beautiful hair. Oh, this? Ooh, thank you. A chair upgrade, yes. But we're not talking about it too much. I'll talk about it later. Um... I, right now we're solving murder. Murder on the Churchy Express. That's the subtitle to this mission. Okay. Gideon convinced her to move forward with the ceremony anyway, since he was going to handle everything. I went back to my tasks. This part of his testimony is rather long and repetitive. It is really long. Let's move ahead to the next section. Try to stop ceremony. Okay. I fast forwarded. Good, I was growing impatient. Now let's observe the rest. When Gideon arrived, I mean, when Gideon activated the consecration chamber, I immediately felt something was wrong. I begged Gideon to stop, but he didn't listen. Oh. Oh. Still petitioning that deer should replace every portrait. Um, I'll record the whole script, and then you can, like, there can be a mode where I replace them. How does that sound? I think we I think we can all agree that we want to see a bit of Gideon, not Gideon, a bit of uh, Reuben. Just a little bit though, like not too much, just a little whisper. Shout out to our artist that you do great work. Yeah, the, the art is gorgeous. 
good job. But I'm more gorgeous. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, when Gideon, I think, yeah, 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 he didn't listen. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we saw it again. Then the unthinkable happened. Mother Miriam was killed. This was no accident. It's all Gideon's fault. I've heard enough. Let's leave him for now. I can't believe we can we can we 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 can relive it. Wow. Okay. Let's just. That is nasty. That is nasty that y'all let me do this. That you're allowing this to happen, Kit Fox Games. That is filth. You can actually pinpoint the moment that her brain explodes. Right there. That That's the moment. She is the moment. It's mind-blowingly bad. I see what you did there. I could do this all day. Look at her. She is serving it. Boom, 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 boom. Look at the way that they react. They're, like, not even, like... Like, he's like, okay, I'm, I'm looking right here. I'm looking at Ruben. He's like, oh no, hands, hands on his face, like, to cover his face. And then, like, Gideon is like, oh, he's like, oh. <laughs> you know, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive that her... You're not seeing the cursor, are you? I think I have the cursor set to off. Let me um let me make sure that it's being captured. Yeah, capture cursor. There you go. There we go. You you see the cursor now. So I was looking here. Look at his reaction. Like he's just watching it happen. And then he covers his face. And Gideon, right here, who is clear for some reason, it's probably because he's not the one that we're listening to talk, maybe? He's clearly a ghost. He's he's possessed by Satan. Um, but he's like, oh no, what have I done? Shocker. <gasps> but the most impressive part, the most impressive part is clear as you can see her brain and full-on skull is being obliterated here and blood blood is everywhere there's there's chunks and bits and there's just all this stuff everywhere right but look at how clean her dress is that that's like a stainless garment the blood just falls right off that that's that's when you know you bought a quality garment when your head explodes and the garment is still, it still has resale value. It could go on eBay today. Only, only lightly used would be the description. Is this the game mo made by New Age Satanists? Um, it could be off-brand waifu. Hi, Morbid Skulls, how's it going? A consumer miracle. Yeah, they the future has really clean clothes. That's good. I need that. I mean, although he's got a stain here. I mean, I guess he's behind the scenes. He's not the he's not a nun. All right, we're leaving. We've seen enough of the head exploding. Um, now that we've heard the testimony from each suspect, let's think carefully. There's only one truth to the chain of events of this morning, and I doubt that either br brother has told it to us. <gasps> she knows that they're lying. Quick question, will this be recorded? 
Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if Indicade has turned on VOD saving, where it's saved for at least two weeks. But feel free to make clips. If there's any cute moments, feel free to make a clip. <clears throat> and I encourage it, actually. Please make some clips. Um, there is only one truth to the chain of events of this morning, and I doubt that either brother has told it to us. So we must rely on Einsop's greatest gift to us, our minds. There are three ways we, could con we should consider what we've discovered. First way is deduction. Since there can only be one truth, if two things don't align, one or both of them are false. If Gideon and Reuben do not agree on something, someone is lying. Or, if what they say do not match the evidence I find, then they must be lying. Second is induction. I should base my theory based on what I discover. If my theory does not align with any of the testimonies or evidence that I find, then I should discard it. It's going well, saw your Insta story, quoting the dictionary and I was living. Oh, thank you, Morbid Skulls. That was, that was fun, huh? If two theories are both possible, then I should prefer the one that has more information that supports it. That said, induction alone is usually not enough. Yeah, thank you for the definition. Finally, abduction. I must hypothesize what could have happened, filling gaps in information with my imagination. Yeah, let's, let's imagine what happened. This is the fastest and the most powerful way of thinking, but also the most fraught. I should engage in each of the three ways in order to uncover the truth. Um, oh, look at her weave. Her weave has physics. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking around. Ooh. Examine. Ruben's workstation. Let's do it. Um, the Corn of Blueprints, a valuable piece of physical evidence. A new entry is now added to the evidence panel, which can be found on the lower left of your display. Hi, Meow Meow. How's it going? There, you can access detailed information about the Coronet Blueprints. You must present them to the suspects in order to discover any contradictions. Okay, there's nothing else to look at here. Uh, oh, I have to do that. Plans for constructing the Aether Coronet. The purpose of the device seems to be am to amplify the user's Aether output. The components are amplifier, casing, and limiter. Found on Ruben's workstation, plans for restoring a relic that was recently brought to St. Walpurgis by Father Augustine. Okay. Already recorded in notes. Okay, I'm cool. I'm looking around. We are way up in the sky. Let me go in here and look at all her guts everywhere. Oh, she ran. She was like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna discover this dead body. Dead bodies. The body is completely unharmed, but her head has exploded into a mess of blood and bone fragments. We love to see it. Found near Mother Miriam's body, parts of the amplifier component and bits of the casing have survived explosion. All right. Control panel. Use activate and control the consecration chamber. Usage records show that the Aether output during the ceremony was well beyond safe ranges. So why did they... Why did they amplify it that much? Hmm? Door controls. Use to open and close the consecration chamber, only operable from outside the chamber. Usage records show that it was opened twice. 
Twice. Twice. Okay. Coronet limiter. I like how she jogs. Twice. Found in Gideon's workspace in pristine condition. Component is required to safely install the coronet without causing an Ethernet oversurge. <gasps> they didn't use the limiter. That seems bad. Gideon's workstation consecration ceremony. One, place, okay. One, place the coronet and the recipient in the chamber. The performer and the recipient pray in silence. Begin the song to start modulating the aether. Intensify the aether output by bringing the performance to a crescendo. No more to it. Um, all right. I, I'm just gonna leave. Oh my god, I can leave? I can't leave. No, she can't leave. Okay. Twice. Okay. The chamber and ceremony seem to have been the crux of this incident. We should pay close attention to who opened the chamber and when. How exactly do you operate this device? Do you press the keys much like a normal organ? Maybe a secret ending patch. <gasps> they have Fire Nation vibes. What's Fire Nation? That is a crude way to phrase it. There is much artistry in the performance. The rhythm and the melody of my music affects how the energy is transferred to the implant. Interesting. What about this? These door access records show that the chamber was sealed during the ceremony. There you have it. Proof that the ceremony was performed flawlessly. It was performed flawlessly? The bitch's head blew up. He thinks it was performed flawlessly. Um... Oh, from last airbender. Okay, yeah. I can, I get that. What's curious is the door was opened twice. The first time was when Reuben opened the chamber to let Mother Miriam in. The second time was just before the ceremony started when you closed your eyes and prayed for guidance. With one true God as my witness, I swear that is the truth. I kneeled and listened for his voice. It must have been Reuben who opened it for some reason. He was always skittish about the slightest possibility of malfunction. Ooh. We're gonna ask him. We're gonna ask him. Flaws, except for, you know, the bitch blowing up in the, like, the scanners. Her head went everywhere. All right, Ruben, take a look at this button. For safety purposes, this button is the only way to open the consecration chamber's door. Hi, Christopher. What's up? We're we're playing Lucifer within us by Kid Fox. Um, okay. Hmm. 
That's all he says about it. Hmm. Curious, Reuben claims he went back to his workstation, but Gideon says Reuben opened the door to the consecration chamber. I must unmask his lie. Contradict. Gideon convinced her to move forward with the ceremony anyway, since he was going to handle everything. I went back to my tasks. Um... I've never heard of this game. It's brand new. This is just the demo. It's brand, brand, brand new. I'm playing it for the first time. Ruben Garamond, you did not return to your workstation after the discussion. Gideon ordered you to open the consecration chamber for Mother Marian. Ordered me? Is that what he told you? Despite his delusions, Gideon is certainly not my master. I did open the chamber. It's true. I apologize for the omission. It's a regular part of our routine that it slipped my mind earlier. <gasps> Shook. Shook. Reuben has amended his testimony. Let's examine the open chamber. Good, the statement from Reuben's testimony is now verified for two reasons. Corroboration, Gideon's testimony confirms that Reuben opened the door for Mother Miriam. Specificity, it has a shorter time frame and describes a clearer set of events. I can assume that any verified statement like this is true. What's more, the contradiction weakened the suspect's resolve. His eye of providence glows. <gasps> Shook. Which allows me to enter his sanctum, the digital representation of his mind. Let's use his third eye. <laughs> Let's look into his brown eye. Hmm? See what truly motivates this suspect. I click it. I'm looking. How far are you? Um, we've been playing it for maybe an hour-ish. We only cracked the outer layer of his sanctum this time. Still, let's examine the psychological evidence we found. Ooh, we have a new menu. Interesting, this information will help me discern which statements to trust. Found in Reuben's sanctum, faithful servant of Einsoff, or so he thinks. He knows that cybernetics are a critical part of the one truth. Let's quickly examine each statement of his testimony in his testimony again. Excellent. Some of the statements are now supported by the suspect's psychology. Next, I must find correlations between the suspect's behavior and existing demons. Let's open the demonological. It, it, it's pretty much a reading game. Ooh, look at her. Lucifer the Proud, the prince of the demons and the eternal adversary of Einsoff. Manifest in the ambitious and strong-willed, promising them their heart's desire in exchange for their soul. Ooh, it's a blob. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. The gluttonous, simple-minded demon that debilitates the host, turning them into feral beasts. The host is compelled to consume stranger and filthier things until nothing remains of their humanity. Sathanas the Vengeful. A furious demon that stokes the simmering rage within the host preys upon the fervent and righteous, goading them to make to take matters into their own hands. Ooh, she fears. She fears though. Wait, let me let me. She's like. She's like, hey girl, so cute. I like it. 
I love it. Um, what games do you like? I like spooky games, so this one is definitely interesting me with the um, with the characters and the the plot and everything. I don't usually play this many things where it requires thinking, but it's cute. I am having a good time. Uh, I like sp spooky, scary games though, and I also really like um, like games that include queer kind of plot lines and characters. I'm very interested in the Boyfriend Dungeon. I would play that one. I'm not usually much for the RPG kind of things, but that one looks real cute. <clears throat> Lotan the Envious. Playful but deceitful demon who slowly drives the host mad with whispers of their own inadequacy. The host blames others for their ill fortune until the apparent injustice drives them to take what is rightfully theirs. If the suspect is possessed, there should be a psychological evidence that has a clear correlation with the demon. To obtain further psychological evidence, I must find more contradictions and present them to the suspect. Now that I have heard the testimony and gathered evidence, I can accuse the suspect. You did it. You, you did it, Reuben. To accuse the suspect, I must establish the opportunity, means, and motive for the crime. Girl, we don't have all that. You're jumping the gun. And there is no gun. I can try as many times as I wish, but there is only one true answer for each section. Let's try to establish the opportunity. Uh, if you're accusing me of sabotage, when could I have done any of this? Um, good. If it's a valid answer, the suspect will be forced to admit that they could have committed the crime at that time. <gasps> hey, you suspect! Mm -hmm. Are you doing the whole demo? We're going to play the demo for quite a while. You know, for, for a while. I don't think it's supposed to be much longer than, like, an hour or two. Good, if it's a valid answer, I sus the suspect will be forced to admit that they could have committed the murder. <gasps> Otherwise, the suspect will give a counter-argument as to why that is impossible. If I sabotage something in the chamber, then Gideon would have seen it when he brought the coronet. During the ceremony, no one was inside the chamber other than Mother Miriam. Oh, Miriam's arrival, cause cause she mentioned that he wasn't present during that part, right? Now let's establish the means. A U, your alibi is flimsy, so flimsy. What you need to do? We're trying to figure out if he murdered this lady on purpose. For this I need to present physical evidence. Um, so then I do this. Um, Present physical evidence. These are physical evidence, aren't they? Oh. Same as before, the suspect will accept my evidence if it's valid and deny it if they explain why I'm wrong. These blueprints provide that you have intimate knowledge of the coronet's inner mechanisms. Of course, because I designed and built them. Thus. You have the expertise to damage the coronet and sabotage the ceremony. Fair enough, but the, that only proves I could have done it, not that I actually did it. <gasps> he agreed. Gideon was the one that operated the device. How could I have affected the chamber or Mother Miriam? Let's establish the motive. Mother... Mother Miriam was our patron. Why would I want to hum harm her? Uh, <laughs> I 
Um, oh, psychological evidence. Okay. There we go. I'm I'm learning. I'm a woman who learns. We like ladies who lunch and women who learn. Good. If he is the culprit, then present with the correct motive. The demon within him, him will compel him to speak the truth. If not, he will deny my claim. Mother Miriam was her patron. Mm -hmm. Your faith is what drove you to kill Mother Miriam. Why would you think so? If anything, my faith is the proof that I would not have hurt a priestess. Mother Miriam was our patron. Okay. I must investigate further. Let's cancel for now and leave the suspect. Okay. Pip, what do you think of my hair? Cute. Is this, um, this is a game on Steam. It's a game on Steam, and you can add it to your wish list today if you'd like. Hmm. Okay. Oh, cancel. So it doesn't want me to accuse more. Hmm. I can't present anything here. What do we think? Oh, there's something here, right? Cancel. Leave. Okay, we'll just leave for now. We'll talk to him. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this the opportunity seems solid. So I feel like the opportunity is definitely like um at the beginning here at Miriam's arrival because she Ada mentioned like where was where was what's his name during that time? Hmm. So I'm wondering. These door access records show that the chamber was sealed. There you have, there you have it. The proof. The ceremony was performed flawlessly. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. No clue. So it's like, is there a time that victim and suspect were together or suspect is unaccounted for? Yeah, exactly. And I think that that's at the arrival. Specific, spec, specificity, specificity. God, I can't read. Hmm. Miriam's arrival. Specificity, right? Oh, is that Ruben's little project? Whatever keeps him busy is fine by me. How about this? He sure loves making things complicated. True art comes from the soul. Nothing in that mess of lines and wires expresses the beauty of the coronet. How 
how's my day? My day just started. It's um, it's 12 p.m. And I just started this game. I woke up, put myself in drag, and was like, let's play this game. Hmm. Control panel. How exactly do you operate this device? Do you press the keys, much like a normal organ? That is a crude way to phrase it. Oh yeah, I already asked him about that. It's like, you can't... So it's very complicated to me. Hmm. How do I... How do I do? Ask? Ask what? Gideon claims that the other output values are safe within ranges, but the control panel indicates otherwise. Let's present the control panel to, to him and unmask his lie. <gasps> control panel. Lies unmasked. You lied, Gideon. The ceremony wasn't safe. The control panel's records show that the Aether output values were in abnormally high ranges. Of course it was. Mother Miriam wanted the coronet as powerful as it could be. But I am Gideon the Grand with my talents. I had it under control. I made no errors. Something else went wrong. I just don't know what. Hmm. Gideon has amended his testimony. Let's examine maintain control. Okay. Good. The the statement from Gideon's testimony is now verified for two reasons. One, specificity. It has a shorter time frame and describes a clearer set of events. Physicality. Gideon's testimony now is consistent with the records from the control panel. I can assume that any verified statement like this is true. I love that scene. It's beautiful. Splat. He adjusted the coronet. This game looks nifty. It's it's for smart people. <laughs> like you, Piv. Is there a time that victim and suspect were together or a suspect is accounted for? I mean... What's his name was unaccounted for during the return to work phase? Excellent. I've gone through the fundamental steps of investigating a murder. However, there is... Much I have yet to uncover about this incident. I should continue to find more information, contradict the suspects with them, and try to accuse a suspect. No one will tell me when I'm ready to accuse that that is entirely up to my discretion. However, there are no consequences for a failed accusation. Each failure will help bring me closer to the truth of the incident. Hmm. Yeah, this is sort of like Clue. I could see that. Okay, let's talk to uh, Ruben. What were you working on? I was restoring a ceremonial spear for tonight's mass. It is a magnificent relic. I think Abbot Gregory will be pleased with the result.
This is what I was working on during the ceremony. Father Augustine, a visiting scholar, asked me to help restore this relic. I am quite proud of the work. Of my work, it should be ready for tonight's mass. Hmm. How long until the demo is over? I have no idea. I do not trust Ruben, me either. There must be a contradiction here, because it's like, all of that is unverified. It has to do with the button. You test my patience, Ruben. Has your memory slipped once more? That is so pointed. Look at look at this bitch. She's like, really? Really? Do you take me for a fool, Robin? I mean, Ruben. You know, whoever you are. Do you take me for a fool? Whoever you are, you're a nobody. You're the killer this round. I don't think it was an accident. There are demons. There, Lucifer is within us, Pib. It was no accident. Anyway, I'm quite proud of my work. Um, you test my patience. The door records show that the consecration chamber was opened twice today. Given that Gideon was praying during this time, only you could have opened that chamber. It is true I opened the chamber again just before the ceremony started, but I had my reasons. Something about the chamber seemed unseemly. Given what happened to Mother Miriam, I feel vindicated in my fears. Tell me what you did to the chamber. So I opened the consecration chamber to verify that the coronet was in working order. And she didn't notice you? I opened the consecration, oh yeah, 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 you're checking it. Everything seemed fine, so I returned to my desk again. It's interesting how the models disappear. Checked the chamber. So I opened the consecration chamber. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What were you checking? To perform the consecration chamber safely, precision is critical. I wanted to make sure that the coronet was placed correctly on Mother Miriam. I'm asking. What were you working on? Okay, you were working on the spear. All right. I need your eye to glow so I can, like, know what's happening. Ruben, Ruben's the killer. You just know he is. Oh, you're glowing. Let me look into your brown eye. Oh, envy. He's envious. Me envious of Gideon? Ha, huh, unlikely. His artistry would be nothing without my designs. He doesn't know the first thing about how our implant actually works. All of his work is trite, superficial. Why anyone gives him attention is beyond me. <gasps> I mean, I'm envious of deer, so I get it. <laughs> Pib, you're perf. Hmm. Mother Miriam's death was merely a means to an end. Humiliation of Gideon. You envy your brother's success. You want his fame, his glory. Gideon was the one who operated the device. How could I have affected the chamber or Mother Miriam?
Hmm. Opportunity is the door, isn't it? Oh no, the opportunity is check chamber. During the prayer, you claim to have opened the chamber to check the materials. This was when you sabotaged the ceremony. Look at me. I am figuring this out. I am a... I am... I'm Phoenix Wright. Objection. <laughs> um... There was nothing faulty with the coronet itself. Indeed, the craft craftsmanship was flawless, as was Gideon's performance of the ceremony. But you removed the limiter from the coronet without Gideon's knowledge. <gasps> Shuck. Shuck. Okay, Harriet the Spy. Haha. <laughs> That's me. Dariet the Spy. Sorry about it which coupled with the coronet's high amplification caused an oversurge. Gideon's arrogance may have endangered Mother Miriam, but you ensured that she would die from it. Object, oh my gosh, that's it? That is it? I don't even get to see the demon within us? How cute. Thanks for playing Wishlist Us on Steam. If you wanna see how this turns out. This game is going to come out soon, I'm sure. So make sure that you add it to your Steam wish list. Keep an eye on it. Follow Kit Fox Games. Follow Indiecade. Um, yeah, that that was that was that was it. There it was. It was exactly an hour. I started. I started this stream around 11 and a few minutes wow that was so good am i am i a star wait wait let, let me go back let me go back real quick me or her Me or her? <laughs> you, you are the killer. You are the killer. And I know because I have the evidence. And you can find out too if you buy this game soon. <laughs> um, this was so cute. Thank you so much, Kit Fox Games and IndieCade. So, um, y'all, just so you know, Indiecade is this really cool uh, festival where it features and showcases indie games. Usually it's a conference that happens in L.A. And, um, you know, all the craziness happening right now in the world, they are moving their festival to digital platforms. So uh, make sure that you turn on notifications for this channel, Indiecade, and go to Indiecade.com to learn more about it. And keep your eyes on Kit Fox Games, who's going to be releasing this game, as well as, I think, Boyfriend Dungeon, which looks super cute sometime in the future. Um, thank you guys so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute uh dream to co collaborate with you and it's been an honor thank you thank you thank you stick around y'all we're talking with J jong woo kim one of the developers of this game next yes so i'm gonna go offline of this channel and i will probably be go going to my own channel in a bit but um make sure you stay at this channel because it's gonna go offline for a minute and then it's gonna go back online where they're gonna have an interview with one of the designers thank you all so 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 much mwah, mwah, mwah. let me just real quick real quick Ooh, don't we look beautiful oh that that's a um 
we were raising for charity earlier this month. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I love you all so much. Um, again, Indie Cade and Kitbox Games, thank you for having me. See you later. Visit twitch.tv slash dear to catch me. And have a good time later on today and five days a week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you. See you.